Yeah, is uh, it is prowling in the wilderness, is rambling, got lost kind of, and got weak and hungry. And, well, it's getting cool too, kind of cool weather, and I see, found a big cave. I'll tell it myself. Mm-hmm. And I thought I'd crawl back in that cave, kind of get warm. And I crawled back in there, and there's a come up on a big leaf bed, and I crawled in them leaves and got warm and kind of went to sleep. Well, I heard an awful racket coming into that cave, and uh, something crawled, just come in and crawled right over to the top of me like a big old bear, hairy thing, laid down, went chomp, 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 chawing on something. And I thought to myself, well, I'll find out what you're eating. I reached over and, and uh, had about half a bush of chestnuts laying there. And I got me a big handful of chestnuts, and I went to chewing and eating, too. Well, uh, uh, two minutes, why, well, she handed me over a big handful. Well, uh, I ate chestnuts till I got kind of filled up, wasn't so hungry. And uh, directly she got up and took off, out she went. Well, I stayed on. Next morning, why, well, she come in with a, with a young deer. And brought it in and took that, had big long fingernail. She ripped that hide with fingernail skin it, slice out the good lean meat, and she'd slice off me a big bite and hand it to me. I'd kind of sleep behind me, afraid not eat it. They'd make her mad, well, I, and she'd cut off them big pieces of that deer meat and eat raw and eat it. Well, I laid mine back, and when she got ready to go out, she was feeding me. She was, see, I wasn't named Star. What did she look like? Oh, it looked like a woman, but it's hairy. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, when she got gone, I built me up a little far. I brought my meat. I, I eat good. I eat it like that. Yes, buddy. Well, uh, she come in while I was had my far built and brought the meat. And she run into that far. I didn't understand it, you know. And buddy kind of burned her. She jumped back and looked at me just like she'd run through me. I said, uh oh, I'm going to get in trouble now. Well, I stayed on there with the, that there hairy woman. She's right. She's a woman, but she's right. Hairy. Finally, I learned her how to fry, to brawl meat and that fart burner, and she got so she shy and wouldn't get around the fire. And when she got to eating brawl meat, it better. Why, she liked it. All right, she was, uh, we, we was going right ahead, and uh, she was carrying the deers and bears. And so we, I lived there, stayed there. That woman lived there. But we stayed about two years, and, and we had a little kid. And uh, one side of us hired, and the other side sick. Well, I, lived, I took an ocean. I'd leave there and go back home. I went down to the boat, but though one day before, while while I was uh, down at the boat working, I come back into the cave and she was out. Well, I took the notion I'd feed out, see where she went to. Well, I went out to the edge of the cave and looked away off down the mountain, and I see the uh, that looked like two, three dozen high people uh, coming up the hill. It's all pressing her, pressing her, and she'd she'd push them back, push them back, push them back. They was like the one to come on up, come on in. Well, I was scared to death right now that they were going to kill me. But but she made them, she made them go back. She wouldn't let them come up and, and interfere at all. Well, I took an ocean I'd go leave. And uh, I told her one day that I was going to go away, and she followed me down to the... Uh, I was making my boat down to go away on, and uh, when I got ready to go, she followed me down to the ocean where I was crossing. The lake could go to the other side. And... Uh, she was crying, want me to stay. No, I said, I'm tired of the jungle. I'm going civilization now again. I'm going back. And, well, when she was going, she wasn't going to keep me. Why? She just grabbed that little young one up and tore it right wide open. Throwed me the higher part, and she kept the slick side. That's the end of that story. Yeah. Your, your father used to tell me. <laughs> yes, sir.